Welcome, everybody, to Delete Laws. What is going on out there in the land of YouTube? Do me a favor right now. Hit the like button. We've got a few hundred people here watching. Hit the like button just real quick. Everybody reach down. Hit that thumbs up button for me real fast. This is a video from TYT. We're going to watch. Of course, it's a cop attacking his neighbor. And this is unbelievable. And the cop is going to claim that. I'll let you watch the video. Oh, I've got you on video. Leave him alone, please. Dad, it wasn't him. Dad, come on. She's saying, Dad, come on. Get off of me. You started it. You stopped. I didn't start anything. He stuck his blue right out of my daughter. The man in blue, well, wears blue for a living. Okay. Snack. Here you go. Come on. Let's just go. Yo, Jesus. Got that on film? I got some of it. Good. I know his name. Good. I'm gonna sue you. And that dude doing the pummeling is Scott Saunders, who has rank in his community. Saunders, you see, is a sergeant with the whole police department in Hull, Massachusetts. The incident took place on July 24th. Harry Horsley is the alleged victim. He gave an interview to Boston 25 News. WCVB reports Sergeant Saunders of the Hull PD was arrested in Pembroke on July 24th. In a statement, Hull Police Chief John Dunn said Saunders was off duty at the time of the incident. His charges, assault and battery causing injury. Horsley is listed at 60 years old. Hull Police Chief Dunn announced Saunders is Chief John Jack Dunn began his career in being a cop while serving in the Air Force 1985 to 1990. Dunn served the United States, the UK for three years and in Arkansas. Chief Dunn served in the United Kingdom for three years and in Arkansas. In 1990, Cop Dunn joined the Gulford, Connecticut Police Department. He served as a patrol officer, field training officer, detective sergeant, shift commander, training coordinator, SWAT team operator, and SWAT team commander. Detective Sergeant Lieutenant Cali, Detective Lieutenant C-A-L-E-A accreditation team, and Deputy Chief Dunn. On leave. The alleged incident goes as follows. Horsley says Saunders hit his car with a paddleboard when he tried passing on a narrow boulevard. Per Horsley, he pulled over exited his car, and when doing so, the sergeant pushed him to the ground, got on top of him, and wailed on him. Police interviewed Saunders at his home. In the report, this is incredible. Saunders said he and his neighbor have a history of disputes. Saunders said the man raised his hand, this is important, as he approached. He and his neighbor have a history of disputes. In response, Saunders said he pushed the man to the ground, got on top of him, and held him down. The Patriot Ledger importantly notes... The incident was recorded on Sanders' home security camera. This is the definition of a cell phone. We continue via the Patriot Ledger, okay? The police report confirms that Saunders struck the accuser's car with the paddleboard, but that the man's hands are not visible in the footage. The report concludes by noting that in the video, the accuser appeared to give Saunders adequate space and was traveling at an appropriate speed. It also says that as the two men were speaking, the accuser's hands were not raised. Cops lying. Wow. Incredible revelation. They never lie. As old as time, my friends. One Pembroke police officer put in their report, Saunders faces the accusation of assaulting Horsley. The injuries were noted as cuts and swelling to the face area. Horsley would say he should have known that everything he has done was wrong. You don't assault somebody that's a senior. You just don't do it. It's unheard of. I don't care what possibly happened. So he he attacked him. This guy's 72 years old. I mean, he's 72. I'm, I'm still under 50, but I'm over 40. And the guys who are in their 20s who are in amazing shape and trained – they can just run through guys who are in their forties because it's just the age thing. It just is what it is. I wish it wasn't that way, but that's the way it is. And so you got this guy who ran through a 72 year old dude. And why, why did he jump on top of him and punch him in the face and gash his face open like that? 
I mean, the idea that these cops can do this to us is just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. Prior to this, for this sergeant, care somebody that's a senior. You just don't do it. It's unheard of. I don't care what possibly happened prior to this. For this sergeant to take it to this level, I would love. I don't know how this could happen, but the Department of Justice or an oversight committee to mandate that officers take anger management. <laughs> mandate that officers take anger management? No, we have to defund and abolish law enforcement in America. We only need peace officers. We do not need law enforcers. It's not worked out. It's going terrible, and it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. It's getting worse and worse and worse. The term law enforcement has got to be abolished. You notice I never say it. I read when I'm reading articles, I call it cops or pigs or sheriff's deputies, but I don't call them law enforcers. I stop saying it. I don't say it anymore. There's no such thing as a law enforcer. It doesn't exist. It's just not a thing. They made it up so they could be badasses. They're enforcers. We're enforcers. We're the law enforcers. None of them are law enforcers. None of them. They're all peace officers. And it has to be done from the top down. The governor of the state has to say the term is abolished. Those G.I. Joe loser uniforms, abolished. All of your weapons and tasers and sticks, abolished. You'll have a camera on. We have a team that comes in that uses hands on. Abolish Terry versus Ohio. You don't just grab someone because you're scared. Put a camera on them. We'll follow them from camera to camera. We abolish crime in our state. You get rid of crime by putting in a UK style camera system if the people get access to it. That's the plan. A UK style system of cameras that the people get access to. Then it ends all the BS. No more cops. Oh, redacting it here, hiding it here, shadowing it here. Turn off the sound here. Mute it there. Oh, just cut this one, two frames and they won't know what happened. Are you kidding me? I can cut a video. Why do you think half of the frauditors on YouTube, they don't run their, their audits live? Because they negotiate with the pigs as they're doing it. That's why. You see these people who are popular auditors on YouTube. None of their stuff is live. Why do you think that is? Because they want to they wanna edit it so that they look good. They can't actually do the back and forth live because they edit it. Well, if if auditors and frauditors on YouTube are doing that, what do you think the cops are doing? That on steroids. Because they're they're controlling the narrative of your life being ruined or not. It's just unbelievable to me. And we just, for some reason, we just are allowing this to happen. We're just, we, for some reason, we just allow this to happen to our people and to us. And to me, I just find it unbelievable. Let me come back to center here. Let me let me just take a second and breathe. That was horrible. I mean, that was horrible. Why would you jump on top of a 72-year-old man and punch him in the face? You hit a 72-year-old man in the head, you could knock his brain loose. He's going to die. I'm not kidding. That's real. Why would you jump on top of a 70, 70? You just hold him like this. I mean, I just, I just don't understand. I just can't get it.